Hello, and thank you for your interest in Komatsu products. Today, we'll be discussing the cab controls of Komatsu's HD465 and HD605-8 truck. So with that, let's get started. Now that we're inside the cab, the first thing we want to do is get familiar with the truck controls. We'll start with the new adjustments that will make sure the operator is comfortable. There are multiple adjustments for this upgraded seat from height, weight, fore and aft, the seat cushion, backrest, armrest, lumbar, heat and ventilation. Each of these can be adjusted independently of each other. Also note the new three point restraint system with high visibility shoulder strap for the seat belt. Mounted down on the left side of the seat is the bed dump lever. It has four positions. All the way up is bed lift. The hold position is activated by releasing the handle. In the hold position, the lock pin can be turned to engage the lever. This lock pin is only for locking the handle in the hold position. Never get under the bed without the bed lock pins installed. Pushing down on the handle to the detent position allows operation of the float position. If the lever is not in the float position or the bed is not seated, the float light will come on and the truck will not go into reverse or out of first gear and forward, depending on the direction selected. The last of the four positions is the bed power down. It's the bottom position. The steering wheel tilts and telescopes for operator comfort and the release handle for the adjustments is on the lower left side. Also on the left side of the steering column is the lamp switch, dimmer switch, and turn signal lever. Just below the turn signal lever is the knob that controls the windshield wipers and washer fluid. Let's take a look at the dash panel next. On the left side is a group of switches. First is the multi-switch panel, which controls the truck's monitor functions as well as the cab's heating and cooling controls. Next is the monitor brightness selection switch, side lamp switch, along with the AM-FM stereo unit. On the right side of the steering column is the retarder control levers. On top is the manual control lever, and below is the ARSC or auto retarder speed control lever. We will discuss this lever in more detail later on. The gear shift lever is mounted into the dash panel, just to the right of the steering column. The lever must be in neutral for the truck to start. Just to the left of the gear shift lever is the parking brake switch it needs to be in the applied position for the engine to start. The main monitor panel is centered in front of the operator on the dash. It includes a 7-inch color LCD screen and a round digital tachometer. We will cover the monitor in another lesson. On the right side of the dash, we will find the hazard light switch and the secondary steering switch. When a situation calls for an additional steering oil supply, the secondary steering switch is manually operated. Never operate the switch for more than 90 seconds. Just below are two rocker switches. They are the front brake cutoff switch and the AISS switch. The front brake cutoff switch allows the operator to disable the front brakes based on specific road conditions. Pushing the top of the switch allows the use of the rear brakes only when the brake pedal is applied. The AISS or automatic idle set switch allows the operator to select two different idle speeds, depending on conditions. When the top of the switch is pushed, the truck will stay at low idle as long as the throttle is not applied. Just below these switches is the starting switch. The switch has four positions. First is the off position. The second position is directly to the right. In this position, the electrical system is active. If the temperature is below a specific rate, the intake grid heater will operate automatically. The third position is the start position. Turning the switch to the left and fourth position will allow the grid heater to be activated manually. To the right of the main monitor and above the shift lever is the rear view monitor panel. The operator has the option to use the display continuously or only when the truck is in reverse. The brightness of this screen can be adjusted by the switch located just in front of the screen. The rear view monitor panel is now standard on the HD465 and 605-8 trucks. 
Just under the right armrest is a console with another series of switches and components. Mounted to the front of the console is the engine shutdown secondary switch and cigarette lighter. The engine shutdown secondary switch is used to stop the engine in the event that the starting switch is turned to the off position, but the engine does not stop. The cigarette lighter is now 12 volts. On the top of the console are the left and right power window switches, and behind them is the heated mirror switch. This concludes the cab controls for Komatsu's HD465 and HD605-8 truck. If you have any questions or need any additional information, please refer to the Operation and Maintenance Manual located behind the seat. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu products.